Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I be giving you guys tips on how to market your sons and get those numbers booming. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer. I specialize in helping artists like yourself get their sons heard through platforms like Spotify, like Instagram, like YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I wanna talk to you guys about today is five music marketing predictions that I have for 2019. Now, this video was pretty much inspired by this article that I read on this blog called Later, where they went and got a bunch of Instagram experts to give their opinions on how they thought the platform would move forward in 2019 and how other people could stand to benefit from Instagram. Now, as I was reading it, I started to think, hmm, got a couple of predictions myself, so why not share it with you guys, see what you all think, see if you have any of your own, and we can take it from there. Now, before we get into all of that, Follow me on Instagram. I make sure to put my at name somewhere on the screen. Come talk to me. Come engage with me. Come give me some video ideas. All of that. Now, with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, prediction number one: IGTV will become a force. Now, I know what you're thinking. When it was released last year, it was a little bit lackluster. We weren't really feeling such a heavy impact from IGT hitting the scene. But come on, guys. We know how Facebook is. Facebook never steps out of the battle without putting up a really strong fight. If you remember when Instagram first debuted their stories everybody was kind of trashing that and now look at you i bet you're using them every single day now the reason that i say that igtv will become a force is because facebook is seriously looking to compete with youtube and that's pretty much their property their way to do so now i do see going forward that instagram will start thinking of ways to make igtv a little bit more searchable make it a little bit more interactive and make it a place where you guys will seriously want to put your long form content so if you want to get a step ahead of the game get a step ahead of the curve and other people who are going to start flocking to it i would definitely start thinking the creative ways that you can start to put your content out on your IGTV, start using it and start building it up right now. Prediction number two, there will be a lot stronger of a focus on content marketing over the marketing of the actual music. Now, what do I mean by this? As platforms like Instagram and YouTube start to gain more influence, I think that we'll start to see fans care less about the music and more about the content that the artist is putting out. Basically boiling down to, are you entertaining them? Are you keeping them happy? So if in 2018, you didn't sit down and start to think of a strong content schedule and a strong content plan, then you're you're going to get left behind. I mean, think about all the YouTube stars who became rap stars seemingly overnight. It was all because of their content. And like I said, as these platforms gain more affluence, the content is only going to be more stronger in a marketing plan overall. So I would suggest that you guys start to get on that. Prediction number three, we'll start to see an increase in paid advertising spending for music artists. Now I know I can see you guys rolling your eyes right now. I don't know what it is about paid advertising that artists don't like. I get it. It's not the sexiest way to promote yourself, but it is effective. And in 2018, we've seen artists like Lil Wayne and Denzel Curry and even Drake starting to use paid advertising on platforms like Facebook and Instagram and I think it's only going to get stronger moving forward from 2019 and up. The reason I say this is because it is an effective way. I'm always preaching about how as far as a bang for your buck kind of thing, you can't really get better than ad spending. But I think what's going to come along is some savvy unknown artist is going to figure out some piece of content that he's going to run like a $50 add-on or a $100 add-on or something like that. And it's going to blow him up and change the ad game for music artists moving forward. Now, if you haven't started to get into the paid advertising world, I strongly suggest that you do so because it's only going to get more expensive as time goes on. So you definitely want to dig your feet into it right now. Prediction number four, there will be an increase in marketing on more untraditional platforms. Now, when I think of traditional platforms, I think of Twitter, I think of YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud. But have you ever thought about running a campaign on Deezer? Have you ever thought about running a campaign on Pandora? Have you ever thought about reaching out to Musical.ly or Triller or Twitch influencers? I think that moving forward from 2019 and up we'll start to see artists flock to more untraditional platforms because it'll be a lot easier to stand out because there aren't so many people trying to get attention on that you know everybody's on instagram everybody's on facebook but not everyone is figuring out creative ways to utilize these other media platforms that are out there in 2018 we saw drake and travis scott link up with ninja for an epic twitch campaign and i think that that type of attention and effort will start to trickle down to you guys the smaller artists who are trying to figure out how to blow up on these platforms it'll be a little bit more organic since most of you are using these platforms for your own personal uses anyway it's just a matter of reverse engineering them and figuring out how you can utilize them to push your content and your music out so if you're only on these platforms that i named earlier i would definitely look into figuring out some type of other platform these new ones that are coming up and how you can use them with your marketing efforts and prediction number five we will see a rise in influence of marketing now unless you've been under a rock for the past year two years three years then i'm pretty sure that you've noticed that influence of marketing has been the wave like it's been one of the main marketing tools used by people in music outside of music and just anybody who's looking to sell or promote something 
But I think that moving forward in 2019 and up, we'll start to see a more of an increase in micro-influencer marketing, partly because they're a lot cheaper. Like you can get some micro-influencers who are willing to post you or promote you for $10, $20, $50. And the other reason being that their followers just tend to believe what they're posting a lot more, right? Like when you see a mega influencer post something, you pretty much assume that they got paid for it, right? Like somebody with a million or two million followers isn't posting something unless they're getting paid for it. But when a fan sees somebody with 10,000 followers post something, the 20,000 followers post something they don't automatically assume that they got paid for it they think that it's like their best friend recommending something to them so it's a little bit more natural it's a little bit more organic so i do think that moving forward the artist who figures out how to use these micro influencers who figures out how to build a strong team with them will have a better chance of succeeding moving forward because they'll be able to build a base level from the ground up so there we have it guys those are my five music marketing predictions for 2019 and moving forward now i love to hear what you guys think i love to see if you have any predictions of your own and I'll make sure to link you guys to the article that inspired this video in the description below. I'll also leave some links to some old videos about micro influencers and IGTV just to get you started in that direction. Now as always guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey and I'll see y'all next time.